to this row and cannot put this result. For each iteration, it has to create one row and uh, create the record in the columns. And I can go for C colon out. The next thing is value. Value is supposed to be column.id and close this C out. And this is the name as well as this is a designation and this is cell. That's it. Say this. And the next thing is uh, you have to run this application. Before running, I will uh, uh, explain this program first. So, what the things we have to do here is uh, so, first of all, I have created a connection to a database. So, that is called a simple, which was created in this uh, web application. So, that is called a simple database, which is available over here, and it will be having the table EMP and has a lot of records also. And its username on database MySQL database username is root and the password is uh, 123. And uh, so driver is supposed to be com.mysql.jdbc driver which we need to connect. So here after this, so this is dbcon is the variable which has the database connection. And here I am used C colon set which is a JSTL code tag. So, which will set the value of this ID to the 100. So, its meaning is C equal set where is equal to ID, value is equal to 100. That means the value of this ID means this variable ID is supposed to be 101. And here, SQL update data source, I am using that dbcon node here to connect with the data source. And the variable is count, which will return the number of records that is updated and deleted. And within this SQL update, I am going to use the SQL param tag as well. So that is nothing but value is equal to dollar ID. So which ID will be placed over here? That means this question mark uh, will be holding the ID over here. Means the value to this uh, ID is supposed to be the value associated with this ID that is nothing but 101 in this case. And then one more SQL query, so that is we are using here to select the record. So after deleting this record, it means the record associated with the ID 101. And we are selecting the record and displaying them using the for each statement. So each record will be iterated here, so that is supposed to be, uh, so each record, the data source record, so sorry, the database record is stored under the result. And that will be obtained using the for each statement. The variable is supposed to be column, and items is result of rows. The whatever the rows that will be, whatever the data that was stored in the rows will be stored into this column. That column will be having the ID and pin name designation salary columns, and so that will be printed using the C colon out statement of the JSTL tag within the table so using uh, the for each loop so next thing is uh, we have to run this application let's run this and let's so we have the error here Check out the error. So here it is supposed to be delete from EMP where ID. So so select save this and run this one more time. Let's see what happened. All right. So I will be deleted with the record which has the ID one at one. So which were not available here. So I will be having hundred and as well as one at two which is EMP ID. So Let's delete that 102 also so I can uh, edit this program right now. So, here instead of this 101, I can put 102. 102, save this and go for the application. 
refresh the program okay so this will delete the record it has the employee id 102 and only the remaining is 100 so this is how the records are deleted using the gstl sql tags in the gstl applications so thanks for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we can see how to update the record using gstl tags